So, in this question, I'm going to do 2009 ordinary level question B2. Part A, draw the given plan. Not going to do that for you. No need to draw an elevation. Part B, make a perspective drawing of the structure giving the following. The spectator is 1440 millimeters from corner A. The picture plane touches uh, the touches corner A. The horizon line is a thousand mil above the ground line and the spe spectator S is in the direction shown. Scale as one is to 20. Every dimension needs to be divided by 20 as I've done. Small problem, the 350 divided by 20 gets you 17.5. You can't get that on your set square. What you have to do is draw a line 35 mil in length, bisect it, and half that will be your 7.5. So there, there's the two dots there for the window. Right now, we'll get, we'll get started. Okay, so the spectator is located straight down, as the question tells you, 72 millimeters from uh, corner A. So here's the spectator. To get the picture plane, you gotta bisect the two outer or extreme angles so join the two outermost corners to the spectator take your compass bisect the angle this is the center line of vision okay and the picture plane is at 90 degrees to that so i'm lining up my set square with my center line of vision or the bisector of my angle i'm sliding it in here and i'm drawing in the picture plane all right so the horizon line can be drawn anywhere after s so i'm bringing down my set square parallel to the picture plane and i'm drawing in the horizon line now it says that the distance the horizon line is above the ground line is a thousand mil in real life so that's 50 mil on your sheet. So I'm going to go down perpendicular to the horizon line and measure down 50. And here's my ground line. Okay, GL, HL. And before, I'm going to extend these on just in case I need them. So the next thing to do will be to find the vanishing points on the picture plane before you find them on the horizon line. Okay, now, oh, shucks. In order to find the vanishing points, you have to identify two sets of uh, parallel lines. So look, there's a parallel set here, and then there's a parallel set going the other way. All right, this way. So from the spectator, we're going to go parallel to both sets of those lines until they pierce the picture plane. So from S here, I'm going at 30 degrees until they pierce the picture plane because these are at an angle at 30 degrees. And from S, I'm going at an angle at 60 degrees until it pierces the picture plane. So there's VP2, VP1. Now where they pierce the picture plane, you must go 90 degrees down to the picture plane until you hit the horizon line because the picture plane is being rotated flat onto your sheet so the the lines that are 90 degrees to the picture plane actually represent arcs in real, real life so i'm so all oh shucks i'm sliding on my set square here parallel to the center line of vision or perpendicular to the uh, picture plane until it hits horizon line vp2 on the horizon line okay and vp1 on the horizon line now first and foremost i'm going to deal with the big outside uh playhouse model so this one here the height in total is 40 and this height is 25 so only two heights can be applied from a point on the picture plane so from corner a I'm going to mark down perpendicular to my picture plane i'm going to measure up 
25 and then I'm going to measure up 40 and I'm going to join both of those points to VP2 I'm going to mark both of those points to VP2. Now, I can heavy in this line here. So that line I heavied in there represents this one here. That's what it represents. Right, I want to get this point. I locate that point in plan. This is it here. I join to the spectator where it crosses the picture plane down at 90 degrees until it hits its relevant height line, which is that one. And now, so I want this one, I do the same idea. I get the point view of it in plan, that's it there, joined to the spectator, or crosses the picture plane down perpendicular to it. And I can heavy in this portion here. Now, I'm gonna join those two corners together. So these lines now go off towards vanishing point one. So from these corners here, I'm gonna join them towards VP1. Now, if I wanna figure out specifically where to stop, I find this point in plan view, which is here and I and this one this one is here I join them to the spectator so I'll join this one to the spectator and this one to the spectator and this one to the spectator so where they cross the picture plane I'll bring them down perpendicular the picture plane so that's just me lining up the angle so I'm going to bring this up, down. I'm going to bring this right down. And I'm going to heavy in this portion here. Now, I go to this point where it hits the picture plane down perpendicular. And it's along that line there. So that point joins the VP1. Okay, and if I wanted to do this, okay, there'll be no need for it. So I won't see it, it will be there. So I can join here to there. So there's this outside section done. Now I'm going to attack this face here. So that line is a point there, it's altitude is 35 and this point has an altitude of 55 in total. Only true heights can be applied in a line on the picture plane. And I have no line on the back section of the house on the picture plane. So what I'm gonna to have to do is extend this face on. Okay, and I can apply true heights along that. So I'm going to extend that a face on until it hits the picture plane. I'm going to slide this on here, drop it down, and I'm going to mark the height of 35 and 55 along here. And I'm going to join them to VP2. Now, this point is this one in plan. Okay, it's already joined to the spectator where it appears that it was brought down. So that's the apex of that house there. Now I'm going to get this line in perspective. So that's it there in plan. So I join it to the spectator. 
where it crosses the picture plane I go down at 90 degrees to it I can heavy and now look that line there I can heavy in So I'm going to heavy in that line and it joins to this point here and if I want to get this one in perspective now I find it in plan I join it to the spectator in plan so where it crosses the picture plane I go down 90 degrees it's just a tiny bit from A So ever so slightly here okay so we're good then to, to join them now if I want to get the back of the house now I apply the same principle I join the points here to the spectator in plan, I drop them down per where it appears the picture plane perpendicular to it, and the heights are got from taking these back to VP1. So let's watch how I do that. So I join that to the spectator. Where it crosses uh, uh, the picture plane, we go down perpendicular to it. now so look I joined those two points of the roof or the house back to VP1 that one and that one where they intersect is the answer now for my altitude so join them together uh, we still got the window to do so this point is this line here which goes back towards VP1 so I join this back to VP1. Now to get its exact position, to get this point here in perspective, I join it to the spectator, as you know, down perpendicular to the picture plane from where the point pierces the picture plane, where they intersect, that's it. You can join there. Now the next thing we're going to do then is the window okay so we need to apply the uh, windows the heights of the window now so the window in total is is 15 okay this in total is 35 so that's 10 up and 10 there all right and true heights can only be applied on a point uh touching the picture plane so the window if it was drawn all the way around the house it would remain the same height so we can use this height line here so I'm going to go up uh, to, I actually can't I can't use that height line we have to switch over to here we have to extend this line here and the reason why we can't use the first one is because it's too far out so we have to extend that there until it hits the picture plane we're going down at 90 degrees to the picture plane and we're going to mark our altitudes up here 10 uh, 10 and 15 along that line there now we're going to join it to VP1 and the window and perspective will lie in between those two lines so here's the point views of the windows in plan or the window in plan right there them two join the spectator to it where they cross the picture plane same as any other one go down 90 degrees to the picture plane so you can heavy that in heavy that in And then there we, we go.
we add this corner back to VP1, okay, and this one back to VP1. And there's the perspective image of the playhouse. Cheers, thank you, bye-bye.